Hello everyone, welcome back to Learn Science with me. Today we have our first fat soluble vitamin, which is vitamin A. The vitamin A is usually called retino. And in our body's function, the vitamin A plays a very important role. It is important in building a better immune system, in building better cellular mechanism, as well as for our vision, for our eyesight. Let's learn the details of vitamin A. The vitamin A is a group of unsaturated organic compounds and all the compounds contain beta ionon ring. Vitamin A can be found in two principal groups, retinol and carotenes. The retinol is the immediate precursor of the two important metabolites, the retinal and the retinoic acid. Retinal is very important for our region. The retinoic acid serves as intracellular messenger that affects transcription of number of genes. The carotenes are found in many other groups like alpha carotene, beta carotene, gamma carotene, xanthophyll, beta cryptoxanthin. Now we have physiological effect of vitamin A on our body. The first role of vitamin A in our body which is a very important role and you always learn that vitamin A is very important for our vision, for our eyesight. So how this vitamin A is important for our vision? The vitamin A is essential component of rhodopsin and now what is this rhodopsin? This rhodopsin is a light sensitive pigment in rods and cones and rod and cones are the basic structure of retina. Next we have immunity. Vitamin A is required for adaptive immunity. It plays a key role in Th and B cells development. Vitamin A is usually called the anti-inflammatory vitamin because it plays a key role in development of our immune system. Next is epithelial cell integrity. Vitamin A plays a crucial role in epithelial cells differentiation and the development. So the vitamin A plays a key role in our skin. It, this epithelial cell integrity is all about the skin. The lack of vitamin A, the deficiency of vitamin A causes the keratinization, the scaliness of our skin and the suppression of vitamin A causes the aging effect of our skin. Now bone remodeling. Normal functioning of osteoblast and osteoclast require vitamin A. Osteoblast and osteoclast, the two most important developmental processes in bones, require vitamin A for we have reproduction. The adequate amount of vitamin A required in spermatogenesis, the sperm production in males, and gametogenesis, the normal female cycles, require vitamin A in adequate amount. Without the adequate vitamin A, the normal spermatogenesis and gametogenesis will not be occur. In last, we have sources of vitamin A. From where we can get this vitamin A? So the first source is animal source and the plant source. We can get vitamin A from most of the cells of animals. And the vitamin A which we get from the animal source readily absorbed in our small intestine. Plants don't contain vitamin A, but many dark green and yellow vegetables and many plants contain carotenoids like beta carotene, this beta carotene, and these are the provitamins. So the plant doesn't contain vitamin A itself, but it contains the provitamin like beta carotenes. So what is the meaning of provitamin? Provitamins are those vitamins which during the absorption directly convert into the vitamins. So the beta carotene will convert into the intestinal mucosa to retinol during absorption. So this is all about the vitamin A or retinol. I hope you understand this lecture. If you have any query you can ask in the comment section. Like this video, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel, learn science with me. Thank you.